Located in Port Perry, Ontario, Adamson Systems Engineering is one of the world's most recognized manufacturers of loudspeakers for the mobile and installation markets. It is recognized worldwide by leading engineers as one of the top performance products available. Adamson is widely distributed with a partner network that reaches more than 40 countries. A team of skilled applications engineers are positioned around the globe to ensure that best practices, education, and support are available wherever our systems are deployed. Adamson is one of only a handful of manufacturers that builds nearly all of the components required for high-performance systems from raw material. These unique component-level processes have been mastered by more than 100 skilled tradespeople, engineers, and designers. The ability to control everything, beginning with design all the way through to the production of new product, protects the patented processes and intellectual property while allowing for seamless vertical integration of the design and production teams. This video will focus on the manufacturing process so you have a better understanding of our unique business model. Adamson is a mixed mode manufacturer. This means that we partly make to inventory and partly make to order. We manufacture and store sub-assemblies in a Kanban system ready for final assembly only when an order is placed. Our inventory footprint is controlled by selecting buffer locations where cabinets and components are easily stacked and close to the final assembly process. Final assembly lines only build products that have been sold, and there is no warehouse designated for finished goods inventory. With two to three months of sub-assemblies in bins, workers can quickly assemble and ship orders to our partners around the world. Adamson is equipped with work centers for each discipline required to build loudspeakers. This includes a machine shop, wood shop, paint lines, driver assembly, and electronics assembly. Each work center feeds custom-built final assembly lines where our products reach completion. The scheduling process is controlled by a custom ERP software, which allows for orders to be processed and corresponding information is instantly fed directly to the production floor. Each workstation has monitors with digital feeds that update manufacturing orders with the latest inventory and shipment requirements. There are both primary and secondary production offices that overlook the lines ensuring the seamless orchestration of the scheduling, production, and human resource requirements of a complex manufacturing environment. Adamson's Woodshop is home to CNC and pod routers, as well as angle saws and a ductless spray booth. Cabinets are cut from marine-grade Baltic birch using high-powered routers. Here, the ERP system feeds the make-to-inventory team in the woodshop as they work through the operations required for pre-assembly. These cabinets see several operations before having T-nuts inserted and painted to then be stored flat on pallet racks. A second screen digitally feeds the make-to-order team in the workshop. This team only assembles cabinets that have been sold and are ready for final assembly. Inventory from the racks is prepped by a skilled assembly team who construct the cabinets and then send them to join the queue at the wet spray lines. This process allows for storage of forecasted production volume in the smallest footprint possible. Adamson has both a powder booth for aluminum and steel components and a wet spray booth for cabinets. A power and free line is fitted with custom brackets which allow cabinets to be freely spun. They can also easily be connected and disconnected from the line for the application of paint. They are coated in a two-part polyurethane and top coat, which brings the cabinet to the desired durability and finish. By the time the cabinets reach the end of the line, the paint is cured and ready for final assembly. Adamson is well equipped with automotive grade machinery, including punch press, laser, brake presses, lathes, vertical milling, extrusion milling, welding bays, and more. Adamson manufactures magnet assemblies from steel bar stock. Long bars are cut into pucks and transported to the lathe department in bins. Here the pucks are loaded into feeder trays where a robotic arm deliver them to the spindle in order to be machined to a smooth finish. They are stored in trays and transported to the vertical machining center or VMC to be milled before being sent for plating. VMCs are also fed extrusion to be milled into Adamson's patented rigging systems. Some parts, such as dollies, rigging systems, and the patented E-capsule stop at the welding bays before being stored in Kanban systems in front of the powder booth to await the assembly process. 
Sheet metal is stored flat on pallet racks before being transported to a punch press or laser to be made into screens or jack plates. They are then delivered to the brake press to be rolled and formed before storage in front of the powder line. Materials for driver assembly arrive from plating and are stored in Kanban bins. A proprietary Kevlar process delivers formed cones and dust caps. All components are fitted into driver baskets and dropped off for quality testing before being stored ready for the final assembly process. This is where all the components come together to be assembled into final products. Even our production lines are manufactured in-house and are the product of years of research as the company evolved into a global leader in pro audio. Compressed air allows for turntables to lift and turn even our heaviest subwoofer without strain. Once complete, every enclosure is subject to a rigorous quality control process before being packed and loaded into a shipping container and then exported to our global partner network. We hope you've enjoyed this glimpse behind the scenes of how your performance products are constructed.